Hello, Joe here. I want to give you an update on my uh, horizontal length drop. Um, first of all, it's inside a shed now. And I want to show you what I like about this, what I've been doing with it, and uh, how well it's been working. Um, we sold our place in Hesperia where I had this set up outside. And uh, we're right in town. I just, you know, I got approval to get it here from the city before I moved into the uh, hive into the city. We're right in town, and uh, it's still good to keep it concealed because uh, there are people that are just definitely afraid of bees. They don't understand them, and um, it, it's a good idea to do that. Uh, these tubes here that the bees are going in and out of, they're only... Um, about four inches long. You know, they don't have a long way to travel. It's an inch and a half diameter tube. Uh, put a little porch on there for them. And um, they've been here since early May. And right now we're at the end of August. And about 20 miles north of Grand Rapids. And, uh, and they've actually produced more honey here in town, about double what I've gotten uh, in previous years. And part of it is, I'll show you when we get inside there, it's the uh, setup's a little bit different. But uh, I am surprised that in town, how much uh, honey these bees can produce. I'll bring you around, I'll show you inside here. First I'll get a little close up of the activity here. It's, uh, it's about 10.30, but last night was down to uh, 46 degrees. We had a really cold night for August. And the activity here is pretty good. They're just uh, waking up and getting going here. Okay, I'll take you around inside and show you what I have and what I've done different. First of all, I've uh, taken this thing and I've bolted it down to the floor. I don't want it getting jarred around in here or getting moved. You know, disrupt those tubes there that uh, lead outside. The main thing is, is that being inside now, I'm able to super it. Before I had that full roof on here, keep rain from getting down in the hive. I don't have to worry about that. So, a traditional size super, being that I have traditional frames in here, fits right on. You know, this is um, two and a half inch wood, and these are three fourths. So, there's a three fourths gap here on each side. Don't bother anything. It's, it still sits halfway on this um, two inch here. So, Anyway, I was I had another super here earlier that I already harvested from. I already harvested from this one, put the frames back in. This one's full of honey, and uh, they're making honey like crazy in this thing. Um, there's a guy named Ralph Jones that had a horizontal hive on YouTube. And he said they're good brood makers, but that's about it. And, and he's correct. They make brood like crazy. But, uh, not honey. Well, now that I'm able to super this, I'm getting, like I said, more honey than ever. And uh, the hive is a very strong, very good hive. It's so strong, I had to thin it down and, and go uh, combine them in another hive, you know, outside of town here because it just keeps building up. And um, it does very well. I'm very happy with it. They don't overheat in here. I have windows on both sides. And what I do is, um, if I'm uh, if I'm opening up the hive here, I'll take the screens out, and the bees will get their way out. They'll fly towards the light. They'll find their way out. I leave them out till the next day, 
and I'll leave the front door open that day. So when I open it up, that's what I do inside the shed here. And uh, they, they find a way out. There's maybe only a few that don't, and I shoo them out. So it worked out pretty well, even better than I thought. It don't get too hot in here. Uh, I keep the windows open all the time. It has a, um, a vent on the soffit all the way around, and I have a vent along the uh, peak there too. So it don't get too hot in here. The shed's white and uh, stays really nice. I'm hoping in the winter, this will keep the wind off them and that, and that ought to help them too. So we'll see, this hive has wintered bees before out in the open though, uh, and it's done very well. So we'll, I will see what happens uh, this winter. But um, anyway, I think the key to it is, is being able to super it. I think that really helped me uh, with the honey production of this hive. So I want to give you all an update on what I got going here. And uh, I don't see too many uh, beehives in a shed. And maybe it's something you want to consider. You know, it's that, this one here, I'm very happy with it. Those tubes, they run right here, right between the uh, hive here and outside. I have a couple little nails crisscrossing. So if the hive were empty, uh, I won't have a bird fly in there and make a nest or rodents or anything like that. And uh, like I said, I have the hive very solid here so it can't wiggle around. The other tube is back here, uh, midway of this super here. So the, and the, the two tubes, it's not separate hives. It's, they both go into this uh, one hive, but the frames go up a little bit past halfway. So I, I just add them as they need them. Anyway, that's my update. I'll, I'll post another one if something big's happening. Uh, I would consider, even out in the country, putting a hive like this in a shed. It, it's just, I'm very happy with the way it's working. So maybe not just for concealment, just for uh, ease of use and um, maybe helping them out in the winter. I will make an update there when I have something to report. Thank you, welcome, comments welcome. I'll try to answer them.